What's up guys? This is Retro Collector 101 back here with another banger and in this video I'll be unboxing the PS5. Just kidding guys, I'll be unboxing the Xbox Series X. I know it's a bit weird because a lot of people are starting to review the PS5 instead of the Xbox Series X, which kind of makes sense since it is selling better, but I've decided to make the switch from the PS4 Pro to the Xbox Series X, so without further ado, why don't we jump straight into the video. So this is a big box, and I think that the Xbox is going to be pretty dang big. So anyways, why don't we open this up? Sorry guys, I think you guys will only be getting one angle here because I do not have a second camera or a second orientation. Well, at least I do actually, but um, I don't have anything to hold it this high. So you'll have to be dealing with it from that angle. Anyways, wow, this is... um. Wow, this is a big box. Okay, that was a big box, but I finally um, got to opening it up. The box is in bad condition. Thankfully, it came well, just a few bruised corners, which is a bit of a bummer. But uh, other than that, it looks great. So, what do you see outside of the box? Well, this console, if you don't know, supports 4K um, 120 frames per second. It has 8K HDR, which is insane if you tell me. Uh, it also has a bunch of other things like one terabyte of storage and SSD, uh, a variable refresh rate, sorry, I'm reading it from this angle, and 4K Blu-ray, which is a great thing. I don't think that many people use Blu-ray these days. If you do, sorry about that, because I don't. But if you do, then I guess that is a good feature to have. So, don't want to damage this box. But um, why don't we get into what is inside. So, here I've actually taken out everything that comes in the box. Just so that you guys can easily see what you get out of this system. So let's start with the smaller things. Um, you get two wires. One is for power, one is the HDMI cable, which um, apparently has very fast connections. Um, the next thing you get is the controller. So this is a new controller. Uh, I actually love it to, compared to the old one. It's very grippy, I feel, compared to the other one. Um, if you look closely, it has this interesting um, indentation inside it uh or sorry on it so that you can grip it a bit better uh and also on the triggers as well that's something you do not get with its predecessor the xbox one controller which you can see right here so this one was very smooth and a different uh, i think this glossy plastic on the triggers um and the bottom did not have any grip which wasn't bad but after playing games for a long time, like Halo, um, your hands will start sweating and you start losing grip. So it's nice to see that this has a new grip. The other thing that's new with this console is that the controller has this new button. It's actually a share button so that uh, you can do different features with it, like um, taking photos or snapshots of your gameplay, which is a nice feature. Now, also in the box, you get these two Duracell batteries, which is nice. Uh, it's always nice to have two batteries included so that you can play the game straight away. Now, why don't we talk about the differences compared to this Xbox One controller? So, one difference is that the texture up here does not change on the new controller, while it does on the old one. So, on the old one, it got from this gritty um or smooth uh space black material uh to this glossy material which is nice while on the new one it's just flat um now like i said before you get the new button that you do not get on this one and the last one which is 
very nice actually is the new d-pad so in fact it doesn't really look like a d-pad anymore it's rounded out now so it's easy for you to um put your thumb on it and it's nice and smooth while on the old one you got this nice glossy um, plastic which was a bit um uncomfortable uncomfortable sorry when you put your thumb on it this actually isn't the first time we've seen that uh the old d-pads like on the game gear and the nomad actually had uh, d-pads that looked more like this one compared to the one that looked like this so now moving on to what i bought this console basically for is this new console itself so like i said before 8k graphics hdr and 4k blu-ray support all that fancy stuff one terabyte ssd storage and expandable as well which is a nice feature so what you see up here is first the um, power button which is right here um, the disc slot which is right here and the button here to basically eject the discs um, there's also this interesting button right here um, I think this one is oh yeah for connection to the controllers because you have that button as well right here now moving on to the sides there's practically nothing on both sides but on the back that is where you connect most of the things so right here is where you place the expandable storage um here's the hdmi out for connection to your computer or maybe um tv uh here is where you connect the power so outlet actually um, and then here you got a few uh, USB outs, which is nice if you want to charge your, con oh, sorry, not charge, you can't really do that with the Xbox. But if you want to just um, connect your controller to the console, then that's a great feature as well. Uh, one downside to this controller that I wish they changed um, was making it rechargeable because that's something we saw the PS4 and PS3 controllers that we did not really get with the new ones, but that's totally fine. It's totally retro. I'm fine with that. Uh, one suggestion that I do have for you if you have this a new Xbox or even the Xbox One is to get rechargeable batteries. So they come in this um, interesting holder. I'll pop up a photo right here. And basically you can recharge the batteries so you don't need to buy new ones every time they die, which is great. Now at the top is the ventilation system. So it's where the air can come out and cold air can come in to cool off the system. And that's great to see. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please smash the like button down below. And if you wanna see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. Now, if you have any questions regarding my Xbox or this Xbox in general, you can email me and you can see my contact information in the comment section below. And anyways, guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope that you have a nice day. Bye.